do you want to remove bloatware apps on your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone running MIUI 10? That's what we're going to do in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey YouTube, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove bloatware apps from your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone running MIUI 10. Now, you can always go ahead and go into settings and then if you scroll down over here, go ahead, click on installed apps. Over here, you can always go ahead and click on uninstall and then uninstall these apps. But these are not the applications which we're going to remove. We're going to remove certain MIUI applications which you don't need or might not need. Now do note this process requires you to have Torp Recovery installed and also rooted using Magisk. I have a video for that linked in the description of this video. It will also pop up as a card on the top right on your screen. Another piece of warning, I'm not responsible if you soft brick your device and I do have another video on how to install factory firmware on your Xiaomi Poco F1 so you can use that in case things go south and you're doing this at your own risk. Another thing which you need to keep in mind is that after this deep load you will not be able to use Xiaomi's services like find your device or me cloud so you will lose that functionality as well. The first thing which you need to do is go ahead and download the terminal deep loader zip file we have to use version 13 for it to work correctly and you also need the mount magisk zip file in case you have any issues with the deep load once that is done go ahead and boot your xiaomi poco f1 phone into twerp recovery to boot your phone into twerp recovery go ahead and power off your device once you've turned off your phone go ahead and press and hold the volume up button and at the same time press and hold the power button till you see the twerp logo once you are in the twerp main screen go ahead click on install over here and now you need to go to the folder where you have the zip file for terminal deep loader in my case it is in the download folder and i'll go ahead and select this zip file terminal deep loader and swipe to confirm the flash once it is done flashing successfully go ahead and click on reboot system once you've rebooted back go ahead and open magisk over here click on the hamburger menu on the top left and then go ahead and click on modules and you have to confirm that you have version 13.7.1 which we just flashed in recovery Go ahead and open the Play Store application over here and over here we need to download an application called Terminal Emulator linked in the description of this video as well. Go ahead and click on install. Go ahead and click on accept over here. The next app which we need to install from the Google Play Store is FX File Explorer linked in the description of this video as well. Go ahead click on install over here. The next thing which you need to do is go ahead and download the deep loader text file. There are two versions of the text file. One is basic and one is extreme. We're going to use the basic one in this video go ahead download the file and transfer it to your phone or you can directly download it on your device once that is done go ahead and open the application fx file manager over here next thing go ahead and click on the three bar menu on the top left of the screen go ahead click on settings over here scroll down a little bit you will see an option called developer and root click on the enable button click on i understand the risk and go ahead and click on ok Back on the main screen of FX File Explorer, you will see a new option called System Root, which means we have successfully enabled root access for this application. Next thing, go ahead, click on the download folder over here. This is where we have the deep load text file. Press and hold. Go ahead, click on copy over here. Click on the home button over here. Go into this option called System in brackets root. If it asks you for super user access, go ahead and grant that. Go ahead, click on the cache folder over here. Go ahead, click on this option called clipboard over here and then just go ahead and click on paste on the bottom right. And there it is, our deep load file was successfully copied to the cache folder. Once this is done, go ahead, click on the home button over here. And now we'll go ahead and go into settings. Once you are in settings, go ahead, click on about phone. Look for the MIUI version, tap on it seven times. You'll get a message you are now a developer. Go ahead, go back, scroll down a little bit. In the system and devices section, go ahead, click on additional settings over here. You will see a new option called developer options. Go ahead and click on this guy. Once you are in developer options, go ahead and enable USB debugging. Go ahead, click on OK over here. Next thing which you need to enable is install via USB. Go ahead and enable this guy as well. Once that is done, go ahead, click on the back button. Click on the back button one more time. 
back into the main menu for settings now we need to remove our xiaomi account from this poco f1 phone go ahead and click on sync over here go ahead and click on me account go ahead and click on find device and then go ahead and click on turn off find device go ahead and click on turn off anyway it will ask you for your password go ahead and enter your password and click on ok once that is done once you have successfully turned off find device you will see that it is now toggled to off over here once that is done go ahead click on back go ahead and click on sign out over here go ahead and click on remove over here now we have successfully signed out of the xiaomi me account and we can go ahead and proceed to the next the next thing which you need to do is go ahead open the terminal emulator app and go ahead and type in su over here go ahead and press enter once that is done it will ask for super user request go ahead and click on grant over here as you can see our prompt changed from the dollar sign to the hash sign which means we've successfully logged in as root go ahead and type in dbloat over here and then press enter once we type in dbloat over here it has automatically detected our file which we transferred to the cache folder go ahead and enter your choice as i over here and then go ahead and press the enter key over here and there it is it is deploating your xiaomi poco f1 phone and once the process is done go ahead and type in y over here and then go ahead and press the enter key at this point you need to reboot your xiaomi poco f1 phone so go ahead and press the power button and click on reboot over here and there it is youtube as you can see a lot of xiaomi services and apps have been removed from my xiaomi poco f1 phone which means we have successfully debloated your xiaomi poco f1 phone on miui 10. that's it for this video youtube likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you